This is Alan Cantor in Santa Monica, California, and Lou Poehler in Clearwater, Florida. Hello, Alan. Today, let's talk about a service that we bring to our clients. We discover money that is hidden in their risk data, money not being used productively. We capitalize information that our clients already get from their insurance carriers or TPAs. By analyzing five years of loss runs, we report where money is left on the table. We're both insurance insiders, Alan, and for decades we've heard clients say insurance is pretty prescriptive and formulaic, right? Right. They're familiar with insurance. They pay premiums today and claims are paid in the future. Expensive actuaries study those claims and estimate what reserves should be. Alan, can you explain this? Sure, Lou. Claims are called losses and are accounted for in two ways, incurred and reported, and incurred but not reported, also known as IBNR. Paid is the amount already spent to settle losses. And second is the reserves, an insurance term for an actuary's get educated guess of the amount needed to pay future claims. All actuaries have the same goals to create reserves that maintain claims paying ability. They use the same tools in the same manner. That's one reason insurance seems so prescriptive and formulaic. And also opaque. It is not completely transparent how they come up with those figures because they want to cushion the reserves. That means extra money on the balance sheet set aside encumbered, encumbered today to pay for future claims. We are here to help organizations find the path out of that briar patch. Briar patch is a great phrase, Alan. It connotes how corporate dollars get encumbered or stuck to claims. Actuaries, third-party administrators, adjusters, lawyers, and claims mean a loss. A claim could be workers' comp, product liability, premise liability like slip and fall, auto accident, or even regulatory fiat. And if there are injuries, doctors, hospitals, rehabilitation centers, and pharmacies, most importantly, of course, the claimant, all are all attached to the insurance dollars. Our analyses are the first step to addressing these. Our clients have been captives, commercial insurance companies, Lloyds of London brokers and members, self-insured businesses and firms with large insurance policies and claims histories. Our Wharton Business School background and insurance experience inform our work. We construct sound insurance programs that drive business forward. For us, insurance mechanisms are not prescriptive and formulaic. We customize them to help our clients reach their financial and corporate goals. So Alan, how do we find money? Well, for us, money lies in analyzing data. We do hard and deep analyses of loss runs and claims reports, and we ask questions. Lou, can you give us an example? Yes, Alan. A multiple location healthcare provider had numerous office injuries that baffled them. First, we discovered that the injuries occurred almost exclusively in the file rooms. Each location used wall-to-ceiling, track-mounted, open front file cabinets that held thousands of active patient medical records. The clerks worked eight-hour shifts pushing and pulling these cabinets to retrieve files in patient arrival sequence, not alphabetical order. This relentless to and fro thousands of times each week caused back strains, bruised shoulders, jammed fingers, and crushed toes. Our analysis led to a process improvement for the clerks that cut this task from 10 to one and a half hours per location daily. That's an 85% reduction. And injuries dropped 95%. During the following three months, only one injury occurred in all of the facilities. We made them more efficient, slashed their costs, and improved morale for the owners and the employees. Our analysis converted hidden data into dollars. That's amazing, Lou. Our better risk analysis leads to ways of reducing and mitigating risk. 
The cost of risk financing also drops because greater control of underlying operations by the client means that we can more aggressively negotiate excess costs above their retention. With our deeper analysis, the client gains more control over the finances and operations informed now with a nuanced understanding of the risks. And that's how we really distinguish ourselves. Our risk management practice is laser focused on cash flow and balance sheet optimization. Loss histories provide a window into budgets and cash flows. A 2013 Marsh survey of risk managers found that over 80% admitted that they were not drawing enough meaningful conclusions from their risk data and that deeper and more thorough risk related data analyses are needed. That's where we step in. The alphabet houses and consultants do not always act as proactively as they can. We do as a matter of course. We bridge that chasm, bringing the depth of our analysis to our clients. We partner with organizations that are always trying to improve, whose leaders seek second opinions. Alan, we develop a picture of projected losses by analyzing five-year loss runs. Let me give you an example. A client was a lodging REIT whose brands included hotels like Hilton Garden Inns, Courtyards by Marriott, Holiday Inn Express. At the holding company level, they reviewed losses as preparation for financial statements. They never looked any further before our engagement with them. We perform multiple analyses by projecting losses at different geographic, organization, brand, and franchise levels. The analysis was deep and extensive and revealed hidden patterns never before presented at the sea level. We delivered an entirely different perspective that created more robust operational and financial results. That's right, Lou. With our analytical reports, we can craft a comprehensive insurance program with options beyond those previously available to it. It all starts with our intensive and thorough analysis of expected losses. This enables a broker like me to paint a detailed picture for underwriters when pricing lines of insurance. One of my friends, an auditor of captives, loves my story about a program I put together for a non-franchised equipment dealer. Lloyd's accepted it on my first attempt. The presentation revealed hidden characteristics of trailer purchasers, which made Lloyd's members feel comfortable writing the risk. This program became a competitive advantage for the dealer. You were successful, Lou, because you had a strong understanding of the totality of the risk and you knew all there was to know about the risks and the exposures that you presented to Lloyd's for underwriting. Most significant for the client, Alan, this placement allowed them to generate new customers and grow their business. That's what matters most to clients, their bottom line. This is crucial for anyone bearing risks. Our analysis reveals patterns that lead to better financial results. Absolutely. A manufacturer sold their unique product to chicken and hog farmers. Their third largest customers halted ordering over a new, excuse me, over warranty issues. We reviewed their warranty data and collected additional data for analysis. Through this, we discovered the missing link. The customer was selling to cattle breeders and ranchers, not chicken and hog farmers. And this customer was the least profitable top customer over 15 years because of their high level of warranty replacements. But this too was hidden because no one at the top was tracking it. Our client implemented our solution and that customer became their most profitable customer, purchasing at both a higher price point and in larger quantities. We found hidden patterns in the data that enabled the client to see his operation more clearly. That's right, Lou. By looking at components of losses and multiple subsets of data, we discover trends or patterns. Frequency and severity components also reflect different characteristics of the risk, previously hidden. We dive deep into the data pool to discover these gems. 
Only by total immersion in the data can we find the hidden money. To get started, Alan, we need our one-page review and confidentiality agreement signed and returned with loss runs in Excel format plus exposure data and decide whether per employee or per unit per month pricing or one-time consultation pricing. And within 48 hours or two business days, we will review the data and provide pricing for our analytical services.